Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I've set up no less than four site collections to demonstrate how you can search for tasks within some multiple site collections. So in each site collection, I have a task library with one task and uh, three of them are assigned to me and the fourth is assigned to administrator and one of them is closed and the other three are open. So what I want to do now is go to the home page of my team site here, remove the get started and then I'm going to edit the page and I want to put a list of all my open tasks up here to the right. So I'm going to go into text layout and put one column with a sidebar there and then I'm going to insert a web part here. I'm going to use the content roll up content search web part. I'm going to add that and it's actually showing my tasks already because these are the most recent items I've changed in my SharePoint site. So it actually works even now, but it won't work all the time and it's not showing just my open ones, of course. So I'm going to go in and edit the web part. I'm going to max that out to 50 and I'm actually not going to use a picture. I'm going to use a two lines there and then I'm going to modify the query. So it's actually Joe only sh showing tasks. Now it's showing recent relevant results of the recently changed items. However, I don't want the recently changed items. I want the items matching a content type. And I don't want just the ones from the current site. I want everything from my whole SharePoint installation or SharePoint farm or SharePoint tenancy and on Office 365. What I'm showing here works fine in Office 365 also. So I want everything and I want to make the restriction here by to only show tasks. So there I got my four tasks now, so that's accurate. But I want to show just the ones assigned to me. To do that, I need to uh, create some additional filters and I could actually type them in here, but instead I'm going to jump over into advanced mode then I can get a little bit of help on that typing. So I'm gonna go in here and select the property. I want the ones that are assigned to me and therefore I'll find the, the field assigned to. Of course these are in alphabetical order and I want that to be where it equals. Actually I can do contains then it will be the, sign, the tasks that are assigned to me or they might be assigned to somebody else also. So contains and then uh, name of the user who runs the query. So that should show me three of these now, right? So I'm going to test the query and that shows me three. That works beautifully. So next step is I only want the ones who are open. So I'm going to go in and find the status OVS, OWS, CHS field. That's what contains that. So they're in alphabetical order still. So of course RS, there we go. Status somewhere, there we go. Status OVS CH HCS, anyhow. And that should be, should not equal, not equals, and then I'm just gonna type in the manual value there. And that should be completed. So let's run them, test the query, and lo and behold, there's two open items that are assigned to me. And click OK. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply this. And as you see now, two tasks will show up there. And then I'm just going to save the page. And there we have um, a web part that shows my open tasks in the list. Of course, you might want to make that a bit more obvious. So I'm going to just edit the web part to display an appearance here the my open tasks like that but also I wanted to actually have a Chrome so I'm gonna have a title only so let's apply that and save it my open tasks so thank you for watching this demonstration